Today is February 21st, 2024. A lot of things, oh God, I had to go. I went up to my one doctor and warm, went up through Ravenna and my stomach's been killing me over the last few days. I go in the bathroom and you know, I could hear people walking around. Even when I worked, walked in the gas station, people uh, working the case today realized it was Alex that did this. And that was who pretending to be retired Judge Pete. Okay. And, you know, other people are complaining where my ex-husband, he thinks he's so great. He told my grandson, Gabe, where his paid off truck. He didn't switch the title over into his name, but it, and he didn't take my name off of it with a divorce agreement that I'm supposed to be held harmless. And it's his, but he left my name on it and then just gave it to that kid with no title and no insurance. Told him he could drive it. He gave him permission to break the law. Like they said, it's not even funny. He told that little, that kid to drive that truck with no plates and no insurance. It's got insurance. I called and got insurance on it. It's cost me $80 a month. The cops need to pick up that truck. And Dave wants to show himself that he's not in Japan run because he's running another scam that he's hiding. Quit his jobs. Child support's looking for him. There should be a warrant out for him. He's $3,200 behind in child support. Next month it'll be a felony. It's a misdemeanor right now. His passport and his license, he's even driving illegally. Is pulled at 2500 Okay? That's where, you know, and people are telling this lie that the FBI stole my money to give it to Dave. I've heard people say that over the last five years, that Will was stealing my money, he, and at the end he was going to give it to Dave. He's such a fool. Will isn't going to give Dave some fucking child molester. And he is a fucking child molester. Walking in his office with kitty porn. A little kid's going potty. A sextortion scheme. His stripper girlfriend and her brother. Framing a Portage County judge. Huh? In a sextortion scheme. And they have voyeurism tapes of people being uh, naked. And <laughs> selling and sharing them. That's federal. And like impersonating a judge is federal. Impersonating a doctor, selling information is federal. Huh? That's how not funny it is. He's not going to give Dave a damn dime. Not a damn dime. He's so full of his shit. He, he, he thinks him and his stripper girlfriend and her brother Alex framing a Portage County judge and one of their other drug friends impersonating a doctor from Altman Hospital selling information. They're framing everybody. And photoshopping, washing, and date rape drug confession? Huh? And a sextortion scheme? Nothing they have is admissible. The law states you have to have a court order. Dave hired Pete on his own, and Pete's Alex. His strippers, his uh, girlfriend's stripper prostitute's brother running a sextortion scheme. It's a big fraud scheme. I talked to a criminal attorney. They had no right in your home. Talk to someone from the Stark County Prosecutor's Office. They had no right in their home. Talk to police departments. They had no right in their home. What they did is illegal. Like the cop said. Um, off, I think it was Officer Mark. They were told to stay out of this. Because they said it was a retired judge. Drug, drug and beat and raping people. Messed up in the drug cartel. And they wanted his drug connections. They were going after you. Alex. See you got to think. Where I asked Cecily Mullins, who's that retired judge Pete look like a little white sand claws? I don't know. He's been retired a long time. His picture's on the wall. He looks 60, 65, add 10, 15 years. We're talking about a 75 year old, 80 year old isn't going around drug beat and raping people. He wouldn't have an 18 year old daughter. He'd have an 18 year old great granddaughter. We're not thinking of the scenario they created. They just put a Santa Claus wig and beard on that man and framed it. A retired judge. Nobody remembered. I was thinking that they could get away with it. And it's just some prostitute. I was here in Bueller's in Akron. Huh? Some prostitutes walked out last Wednesday. 
They told us they knew it was us and told us to cut it out. They already knew they photoshopped everything. We're laughing about it. Like they said, the girls in the strip clubs were having the men that weren't there show up and harass me. It was done by a bunch of strippers in the drug cartel. Huh? And they ran a big scam here. A sextortion scam. And all these idiot people fell for it. Like people said, nobody finds any of this funny. It was done by a stripper and her brother. Huh? And one of their drug friends ran a big scam. It's so ridiculous. They think the law is fucking stupid. And they've been going after their drug connections. I'm going to upload this. I don't have a lot of time this morning. But nothing they have is admissible. It's the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution. I've talked to criminal attorneys. They didn't have a right in your home. My one friend, his mom is a sitting judge. He's very fond of me. A sitting judge in Ohio. They had no right in your home. He said, you know, even though the police could never do anything with those tapes, he said, I know a couple because of my mom. He said, I hope that they didn't keep those altered tapes of you washing for personal enjoyment. You are supposed to destroy them. Don't be nasty, dirty, dirty men. They're altered to washing. He said, you know, I've known you for years. You never do that. Ever. He said, I bet they put your head on somebody else's body. I said, that was my guess, but they were laughing that it was a shower scene in the other room to make me look weird. He's like, they can't do that. He said, you get in a lot of trouble for impersonating a judge. You get in a lot of trouble for taking naked pictures of somebody without their permission. Hmm? Get in a lot of trouble for kitty porn. Little kids going potty. Get in a lot of trouble for drug beat and raping somebody too. The victim doesn't get in trouble. You want to confess. And the police aren't helping a bunch of strippers. Huh? Like Mark said, they were told, Officer Mark said, they were told to stay out of it while they got their drug, his drug connections. They thought it was a retired judge messed up in the drug cartel. And here's just some guy saying he's a retired judge. Judge Ludic seen him dressed up as that little white Santa Claus on 91819. Joking around in a row, didn't realize what he was doing, that he was impersonating a judge. They thought he was just being silly. And here he's been running around telling everybody he's that judge. Go to jail for that. And trust me, the police will arrest you. Dave so, is so arrogant within himself, he thinks he can take his altar tapes and our men court of their drug confessions, their fake so sodium pentothal reports. And I have it documented by Altman Family Physicians of all the signs of being drug beaten raped. Huh? Drug beaten raped all summer long. And they documented bruises I couldn't explain, throwing up, heart racing, uh, headaches, almost passing out in a severe personal infection. I thought it was a well water eating my skin and making me sick washing it. And here I'm being roofied up and told to say stuff so I'd be sleepwalking and beaten raped and I didn't know what was happening to me. Like Officer Mark said out in Alliance a few weeks ago, we found out in the first of the case her ex-husband was having her drugged up so bad they were drug beaten raping her and she didn't even know what was happening to her. And we were told to stay out of it. There's some retired judge in the drug cartel drug beaten raping people and they wanted his drug connections and told us to stay out of it. And found out it's just some guy in the drug cartel impersonating a judge. He thinks that they can enter all that and he won't have to pay my alimony. He thinks he's above the law. They've been going after the drug dealers and they got a lot of them. A lot of them. Someone needs to go after him too. And he needs to go to jail for his crimes. And somebody needs to pick up that truck. told you he even faked his disappearance i gotta go i gotta get to work but yeah he's trying to get out of paying alimony it was me like 30 grand still 40 and he's not getting out of paying it quitting his jobs hiding there should be a warrant out for his arrest for that he's got a court order that he has to pay me I'm going to upload this, but yeah, he thinks he can enter a scam. 
can't enter anything. I told the prosecutor's office up in Portage County. I told the Stark County prosecutor's office, a guy from there, what it is is a fraud scheme they did. Nothing they have is admissible. Huh? And I told him how he terrorized me up in Portage County, and I cried till I stuttered with that lady in the criminal division. Hmm? Think you're going to show up with your uh, porno altar tapes violating women and children? And they already know. Police already know, too. And where Dave thinks they're fucking stupid, they actually aren't. They've been playing people to get the drug dealers. Like some guy in Hartville, we told the police to stay out of it while we grab these people. Or we get a hold of this. We never told them not to believe her and not to tell people that. Not to believe her. She works with us. My goodness, what they were doing. Why are they telling people not to believe her when she works with us? And that had been a fad. I told you I want to know some lady that's a CIA agent. She's called them. And she said they came down and found out I was a really good person. And they've been nipping this. You don't want to make... My brother-in-law was CIA. Worked under Dick Cheney. Craig Davis. Died March 26, 1990. Pentagon. He did a lot for our country. And this has been our nation's disgrace of the legal system. But they got a lot of bad guys off this. I'm going to upload this. Oh, the 14th Amendment. You cannot deprive any U.S. citizen of any legal protection. And you cannot take anybody's assets or money without due process of the law of being found guilty. Huh? You can't just take somebody's money. 14th Amendment. And you can't stop people from protecting them and helping them.